Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. So Langchain is a framework for developing applications powered by language models, right? I have already created a playlist of Langchain. You can refer to all the videos that I have created, but it is not production ready, right? The Langchain, the same company behind Langchain, right? It says here open source framework introduce Langsmith. So what is Langsmith? Langsmith is a platform for building production grade LLM applications, right? So what we will be doing in this uh, video is I will take the same Langchain Falcon chain lead repository that I have used before for creating a video related to Falcon chain lead and I will introduce how you can implement Lang Smith on top of that, right? When you create an application using just a Lang chain, you will have an application, you will get the output, right? But you don't know what is happening behind the scene. But with the help of Lang Smith, you will get a completely new UI where all the all the interaction between the large language model and the traces are being recorded. As you can see, I did some tests before and all the chains are being recorded here, right? The traces are recorded here and you can filter based on the traces and all the different things. Let's get started. So this is the website Lang Smith, right? Here you can just go and read all the different things. It says here, it lets you debug, test, evaluate and monitor chains and intelligent agents built on any LLM framework and seamlessly integrate with Lang chain, right? The go-to open source framework for building with LLMs. And the good part of this is that you can use with Lang chain as well as without Lang chain also. There is the quick start guide. You can follow all the different things and all the instructions are being provided in this documentation. I will provide the link in the description. But as I said before, we need to first create the account for this, right? So here is the link. So here it says how to get started. Create a Lang Smith account. I have already created the account, but how it looks like is if you click here and go to incognito window, let me show you how it looks like. You need to create an account. What I recommend you to do is either continue with Discord or GitHub because it is convenient compared to entering your email address, password and this step, right? I recommend going with GitHub. That is what I did for myself. Once you are logged in, then it will look something like this. I have two projects here already, but for you, it will be just one project, right? So how to get started? Again, there are many things here. You can expand this here. There is the projects as I have two projects, as I said you before, there is this data set part and here is the API keys and here is the documentation it takes to the same page, right? So let me close this. So what is the first step you need to do? If you go to the main page here, you need to go to the projects and you need to first create a project here. If you don't create the project, then it will by default go with the default project, but better to create a new project, right? Let me create a new project here. So if you click new project, you can give a different name here. What I will do is I will give Falcon Lang Chain Chain and Chain Lead, right? It must be unique than other ones. I can say here submit. And once you submit this, it says, okay, log your first run, right? The only thing that you need to do is provide some environment variables, right? So yeah. About this installing Langchain, we have already done in the previous video also, but you can just follow along and we need these environment variables. Here we need the tracing, right? We can provide true or false for this one. And there is the Langchain endpoint and there is Langchain API key and the Langchain project, right? For the project, as you can see here, it is already shown the Falcon Langchain chain lead because that is what I am inside the project. And this is true because we need to do the tracing and you don't even need to change this length chain in point. The only thing you need to provide is the API key. So way to get the API key. If you click on this API key icon here, it takes you here. I have already created two of those. I can say create new API. So here is the API for me, right? So I can just copy this and paste. I have already done this, so I'm not going to do this now. But as you can see, once you go out, you cannot now go back to the same API. You need to delete and create new one, right? I already created this. As you can see here, it just created. So I will just remove this so that 
I revoke this immediately, right? Now what I need to do, as you can see here, if I go here now, I have three projects, right? And I have Falcon, Lang, Chain, Chain Lead, right? I will take this one to demonstrate, right? This is what I have already done before and you can see many chains. So here, there is nothing, right? So now if I go back to my GitHub, this is the same repository I have forked from the original one. I have already opened this in GitHub code space. You can just go to this part here and go to code space and create one. I have already done this, so it is showing here active. If you are new, then please watch my previous video about this same Falcon and Chainlit, right? So now I will go inside the GitHub code space. And as you can see here, this is the Langchain Falcon.py, which is the one that I have demonstrated before, right? So when you run this particular project, there is no tracing right so i'm not going to go through this but what update i have done here is first you need to provide the environment variables right you just copy the same thing what we just i just showed you here right if you go to your project so these things right you can export this in your terminal but what i recommend you to do is go and place it inside the example.env but you need to rename this to .env and the instructions are in this readme.md file. I will show you in the preview part here, right? Let me close this. Let me close even this because I don't need it now. So the same steps I have already explained in my previous video, but you need to create the virtual environment. I have already done here. And then you don't need to follow this because we have we are in the GitHub code space and you need to provide the hogging face API token. You need to go to this URL and get the API token. And if you want to go with the Lang Smith, you need to go to the URL, which is the same URL, which we were before. And you need to take all these things and paste it inside .env. I have already created .env. The same thing, what you need to do is cp example.env to .env, right? You need to paste this Everything is same as I said before. You just go here, copy all the all these things, these ones. Instead of your API key, provide the API key from here, right? We we just created the API key. Then that is all you need to do. So what we can do now is go to the terminal. That's all. Let me just say don't and I will clear the screen, right? What is the change I did in the code? So this is the updated code, right? Langchain Falcon Lang Smith dot pi. This is all the same here. So then I just take these API keys, which I stored in the .env and other things, there is nothing changed here. With just four lines of environment variables extracted from the Langsmith website, we can have the trace of the application, right? So I will just save this again. And then what I need to do is run this, right? I can run chain lead run and by the way the command is also in the readme file all the way down as you can see here this is for without tracing and this is with the tracing now i can just go here Control c i can go to the terminal and Control v right and then i can just run enter when i run this now it will the lang smith is implemented in this particular project right now it is loading i can go here and ask some question okay how to make pizza explain step by step right if i go here and run this, it will provide some answer, right? Now, if I go to the Lang Smith website, so if I go to the project, and here is the Falcon Lang chain, right? If I go to the traces, now there is the trace being recorded now, right? If you click here, you can see here there is the trace, there is LLM chain, right? It took, there are 23 prompt tokens and 125 completion tokens, right? So that is how it works. And here also there is the run, here is the question, and here is the output of this particular thing. If you go to the hogging face hub, right? From here, you know that we are using hogging face hub. So that is also good part, right? Which model are you using? The LLM, we are using Falcon from hogging face hub, right? The same thing, it took 0 0.28 second. This one took 0 0.40 second, right? And this is the answer here. And the good part here is you can just copy this, or you can just jump to bottom here, and there is the feedback part also where you can provide the feedback. If the feedback is being provided, you can just see it here. If you go to the rate here, you can say, is this correct or not, right? If you go to the wrong, the answer is correct, right? What we can do is go here and say, yes, that is, we, we provided the feedback, right? 
and now if you go to the feedback so here there is saying score one and when is the feedback also being provided right it is all being recorded in this particular website and you can even go and add to the data set if you go here maybe let's say you want to add this to your data set right you can go here and say add to data set right so here is the question here is the answer and here is the output right you can add it into the data set i'm not going to go through that but you get the idea so yeah that is all what you can do and even if you go to the wrong part and maybe let's go to the chain right i can make this smaller let me go to the projects again and this is the project right there is the filter also what you can do is go here and do some filtering let's say that you want to only view the one that is succeeded right or let's say the latency is greater than or equals to 10 seconds right or the tokens is greater than or equals to 1000 right you can say today okay here is the today and if i just do which are cancelled right so there is nothing that is cancelled right you can just go here and filter you can just go here and play around this now i hope you get the idea how quickly we can have the trace of the application right so there is total runs is one and total tokens is 148 right if i go back to the app then let's say i want to ask how to make pasta if i go here it says okay first pick all the different information right and now if you go to the lang smith there is second trace also being recorded right how to make pasta if you go here same thing here llm chain so now there is 109 tokens being used 17 of that is prompt tokens and 92 is completion tokens right so yeah this is how you can just quickly have your applications traceable meaning that now if there is something wrong let's say that this app which is running is now in a production and you want to know what is happening behind the scene of the applications what are the different tokens being used right because there is some token limits and all the different things happening in your application right so you can just quickly go here and check what is happening and you can debug it easily so now if you go back to the website now it makes sense that it helps us to do debug test evaluate and monitor the chains right okay so that's all for this video i hope you now know how to implement or how to implement lang smith into your existing lang chain project or in the new ones that you will be creating right or even you can use lang smith without the lang chain projects and the documentation is being provided in this particular website as you can see here without lang chain you need to install lang smith right and all the different things and how you can do with decorators and all the different things is provided in the documentation okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one